This is Monopoly, the Major League Baseball edition, and I'm gonna be playing it in real life. I got this idea from Simon Wilson, who is another YouTuber who did Monopoly World Travel and Travel Around the World. My budget does not allow that, but what my budget does allow is for me to go around this board at least one time. So here's the board. It has every single MLB team on it. It's so old that it has the Montreal Expos on it, which are now the Nationals. So here's some of the rules. I'm gonna try to go around this board at least one time, and I'm gonna go to the game that it lands on, whether they're home or away. Now, if I do land on free parking, that's gonna be dealer's choice. I'm gonna pick whatever team I wanna go to and go see it. If I land on go to jail, I'm gonna have to pick the cheapest ticket at the stadium that I land at next. And last thing, if I land on an American League or a National League space, I get to pick a team from that league to go to. This is gonna be consecutive days, so I'm gonna roll the dice, fly to that place tomorrow. When I get there, see the game. When I get back from the game, I'm gonna roll the dice, go again, and take a flight to the next place. So realistically, I can go to the Blue Jays, Royals, or Seattle, Angels, Rangers, or Twins. I haven't checked to see if any of these guys are at home or away, so this is all gonna be a big surprise to me. All right, let's see where I'm going. Come on, no whammies. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like I'm going to see the Angels. So it looks like the Angels on Monday are playing the Rangers. So it looks like I'm going to Arlington. So now I gotta look up flights. Let's see, I'm gonna be flying out of Charlotte to Dallas. One way on the 14th. All right, looks like I'll be flying with Spirit. Hey, stop it! Hey, hey! Ticket is $140. Let's go ahead and book it. All right, I got my hotel, I got my flight, and I finally got my ticket. I'll see you guys in Arlington. All right, it's currently 4.38. I'm heading to Charlotte Airport, very tired. About to get to this uh, Spirit flight to Texas. I'll see you at the airport. Finally made it to the airport. It's now 6.43, my flight's at eight. This is actually my first time in Texas. I've never been there before, so hopefully there's good food. And hopefully the Spirit flight goes smooth. Never flown with them either, so we'll see how this goes. Thank you. Hello. Okay, finally got my car. I was in the rental line for an hour and a half. It took like 30 minutes to get from the airport to the rental car place. It is finally noon. Uh, I can't check in till three. I'm gonna kind of drive around. I know there's an in and out here. Might go get something to eat, then go to the hotel and uh, put up my stuff, get ready for the game. All right, finally made it to the hotel. They let me check in early, which was clutch. Um, I got in at 2.30, took a quick shower. Something about being on an airplane for that long just makes me feel dirty. Got everything set up before I leave. I'm gonna put in my picks on Underdog Sports. Underdog Sports is super simple to use. With Underdog Sports Pick'em's game, you pick your favorite baseball players and you try to predict whether they'll be higher or lower in stats like hits, strikeouts, and more. Pick two to five players and get all your picks right and you could win up to 20 times your money. Be sure to sign up with promo code SHOPBYHYPE and Underdog will double your deposit up to $100 so that you can have some bonus cash to play with. Again, that's UnderdogFantasy.com or Underdog Fantasy in the App Store. Sign up with promo code SHOPBYHYPE and get your first deposit doubled up to $100. All right, for the Pick'em's game tonight, we got Max Scherzer pitching for Texas. He's got a pitch count of 99.5, and 
and I get to pick whether it goes higher or lower. He's gonna been, he's been pitching over 100 pitches per game a lot lately, so I'm gonna pick higher on that one. And then we got Corey Seager getting .5 singles, higher or lower. I believe in my guy getting a hit tonight, so I'm gonna pick higher. And it's as easy as that. So let's see tonight if we can make some money. Finally made it to the ballpark. This place is absolutely gorgeous. And it has an AC, which is perfect on a day that it's 100 degrees outside. Okay, so first thoughts of this stadium is it's amazing. Uh, the AC is great. Good energy, good vibes. A lot of good food uh, selection. Good first stop on the trip, Monopoly board. So this is my view from my seat. I'm sitting in section 124 in row four and seat 20, which is the end of the aisle, which is great for me. All right, so I got the Sweet Baby Ray's brisket croissant. Gonna give it a try. Brisket's good. That sweet glaze is even better. Croissant's a little tough though. Not really fluffy. Feel like it's been sitting out for a minute. Definitely need a knife for this. And they did not give me one. This was $9.99. For the brisket alone and that sweet baby ray's sauce, honestly worth it. Most ballpark food is like super overpriced and like for 10 bucks for this, worth it. All right, I was gonna give it an eight out of 10, but I'm fighting this croissant too much to where it broke my fork. So I'll give it a seven out of 10. Rangers leading 6 0, and Marcus Simeon the bat. That ball's hit well. Deep out to the left. It is gone! Three run shot for Marcus Simeon. 9 0 Rangers. Well, this has been a decidedly one sided affair tonight. And Garcia hits this ball high in the air out to center. Carrying well. It's gone! Into the bullpen and right. Number 30 for El Bumbi. And the Rangers are in double digits. That was wild. Alright, I went back, got a hot dog. Can't go to the ballpark without getting a hot dog. So, this was $7. Once again, good meat. But um, the bun is hard. It's like yesterday's bun. Seven dollars, not bad. And if you're someone that puts ketchup on your hot dogs, please unsubscribe to me. Scherzer is absolutely shoving this game. I don't know if he'll hit 100 pitches. It's a rough night for me. So Serger hit 100 pitches even, so I won that one. 
they took Seeger out of the game because they threw some Choden in the eighth inning who threw just Ephesus. So, <sighs> broke even. I'll take that any day over losing money. All right, back at the hotel finally. It is 10-10. My thoughts on the Rangers Stadium, obviously one of my favorite stadiums. It has AC, it's indoors, the roof retracts. It's pretty cool. Food selection there is pretty nice, other than the fact that I got like yesterday's bread, but that could just be a fluke. I've been to other stadiums where like there's other things to do other than watch baseball and eat food. This stadium didn't really have anything else to do, like for kids. So yeah, I give this stadium probably like an 8 out of 10. Not my favorite, but definitely in my top 5. But now it's that time to see where I'm going tomorrow. Let's roll the dice. So technically I could land on the Rangers again if I rolled a 2 and then I'd just stay here. Or we got the Twins, we have the Diamondbacks, the Rockies, the Marlins, <laughs> the Nationals, or the Brewers, Padres, maybe the Astros? All right, let's see where I'm going.